Electronic Show kicks off tomorrow in Las Vegas. Thousands of people are expected to be there exploring the very latest in technology. Jessica Desiri has been joining us live all morning long in Las Vegas with a preview of some of the featured tech. And Jessica, last time we had ice cream. Now, what on earth do you have on your feet? <laughs> Take a look at these robotic shoes powered by AI. Hi, Jessica. Yes, these are moonwalkers from Shift Robotics, and these shoes allow you to walk up to three times faster than you normally can. They're in lock mode right now, but if I do that, green light comes on, I can go full speed. Up okay. To three times faster. I need to test this out. Okay. okay. We're going we're gonna to race, okay? Ready? Oh, okay? On your mark, get set, go. All right. Okay. So what's fun, what people are using these for, fun for fitness He's actually out pacing me okay right but they're also using them in places like warehouses and what we're finding is some warehouse workers walk up to 30,000 steps a day these allow to cut that down to 13,000 steps in a day 13,000 drop in the amount of walking they're doing which is huge for the companies huge for the employees as well I want to see the steps on that I want to see that on my Apple watch awesome if you were wearing these and I was walking normal you would pull away from me so fast it would blow your mind Great. Thank you so much. Okay, on to our next device right here. Imagine a ring controlling your at-home appliances. What is this? Hi. Thanks, Jessica. This Lotus is a wearable ring that controls objects at home by pointing. But unlike traditional smart home tech, there's no apps, no rewiring, and no internet. When you said no apps and no wiring, you literally just made me feel so happy because everything is tethered. So show us how this works. Yeah, so it's a simple three-step process. Step one, you put on the ring. There's a single button. Step two, for any existing wall switch, you can attach the Lotus switch cover. And step three, just point and click. Using infrared eliminates the need for apps, smartphones, and internet. Okay, so we see it right now used by a lamp. Where else can we see this? So it's whatever your wall switch controls. So we can control lights, fans, appliances. And because we're using infrared, we can also control televisions. Now, I'm seeing this for the elderly population, baby boomers. Usually you don't think of them in the tech space, but they actually are needing it more than anyone else. Imagine how this could help any household. You know, grandma getting up at night, Tell me about that use case scenario. And I know you also came up with this idea because of a certain situation. Yeah, it's a great point. So I was born with twisted knees myself, and I've been on and off crutches. And one night a few years ago, I got out of bed having left the hallway lights on, but I was too tired to get onto my crutches and walk all the way. And I realized if someone like me, an engineer managing an org at Apple, with expertise in wall electronics and 37 patents if I don't even have smart home technology. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just throw that in there. <laughs> Who does? You do. <laughs> but yeah, so, so the idea was to help people with disabilities like myself, uh, older adults who might be trying to get up to go to the bathroom at night. Wow, take a look at that. That's incredible. Great use case scenario. All that right. is pretty awesome. And when you talk about people maybe with disabilities or older people, it totally does make sense mm -hmm. that these could really enhance their lives. So really cool technology and no Wi-Fi or app. That's what <laughs> That's I love. That's pretty cool. I don't know about those shoes, though, because I want the 30,000 steps a day. <laughs> I don't want to cut my steps in half. Well, wait so. till you're forced to do it in a warehouse. It might be different. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll see. Thank All you, right. Jessica.